What's up, YouTube family? Hope you're doing fantastic today. We're gonna be opening a Paldea Evolved booster box. Cannot wait to get into this. We're gonna be giving away some of the cards we opened today. So to get entered, all you gotta do is subscribe with your notifications turned on. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. And most importantly, leave a comment down below and let us know what your favorite card that we pulled was, or if we didn't pull your favorite card, what is it? All right, so I'm super nervous about this, but let's get into it. We finally got Paldea Evolved and let's see if the pull rates are just as good as Scarlet and Violet one because those pull rates were absolutely insane. We got Tinglu on our box topper, so let's get right into it. So when we were opening before, guys, we were getting about, on average, um, it was about five of the EX cards, about three to four uh, art rears, two SAR or one SAR and a gold card. Uh, so we're usually around 12 hits a box. So let's see what the breakdown is. We got a mischievous, a reversal energy, reverse hollow, say that 10 times fast, and a Faulkner full art. So starting off on a huge, huge number here. So a very beautiful card. I don't know how this one will perform in the TCG, but we'll see after the initial release. All right, so full art number one, pack one in. What's the rest of this box gonna be like though? We're gonna be doing a live stream this weekend. We're gonna be opening up a build and battle case. Uh, that's gonna be a lot of fun. So make sure you guys tune in. It's gonna be Saturday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Sign. Vespa Queen, Ice Q. We have a Therapeutic Energy Reverse Hollow, Combi, and a Slacking Regular Hollow behind that. I am just absolutely excited about this set though because there are some really important trainers for the TCG in here, so it's going to be a lot of fun to see how those affect the meta and if it's going to change the way everything works. And of course, the storyline starters in here look phenomenal as well. We have a reverse Gyarados. We have the Florigato. Speaking of those SAR storyline cards, one of my favorite storyline cards for sure and a hollow jump pluff behind that. This Florigato and the Meowskarada are actually my favorite illustration rare out of the whole set by far. Uh, they definitely are absolutely gorgeous, but there are a lot of other cards we do want to pull. Hopefully that Tyranitar art rare will show up in here. All right, on to pack number three here. So, so far already an art rare and a full art card. So let's see if this can continue here. Dunsparce, Hoppip, Pedalion Whooper. We have the Iono regular trainer card. Now this is another card that I think is going to start acting huge in the TCG. We got a Murkrow reverse, Hoppip reverse, and a Pikachu EX. I actually didn't even know this was in the set, so super cool. Love seeing Pikachu as an EX here. I didn't even know that that card was in the set, so I didn't open a lot of the Japanese um, sets that are included in our English set, so a lot of these might be a surprise for me, so that'll be a lot of fun. Clavel, Palmo, we have a Gotharita, Honchkrow, Delivery Drone Reverse, Hydreigon Reverse, and a Veluza. I feel like I say that every time we don't open a good pack. Veluza! Just put, you know, a V and an L in front of it, something like that. Hopefully this opening isn't too cringe for you all. But hopefully you guys can get good information from this just to see what the hit rates are like. We have a Jet Energy, Fighting Eulate, Fighting Eulate, whatever it's, Fighting a lot, something like that. Rookie D Reverse, Giraffe Rig Reverse, and a Garnack. I feel like I mispronounce some of these names almost all the time. And it's funny because I give Tom, uh, <laughs> Tom at one of the stores that I shop at, I give him absolute hell about mispronouncing names on their uh, their live streams or whatnot. It's hysterical. Primate, Grusha, Vespa Queen Reverse. We have a Grafii Graf Reverse. <laughs> and a Luxray as we're talking about not being able to pronounce cards. <laughs> All right, so still those three hits right now were all we got, but as you guys know, it only takes one or two packs really to turn this all around, and I'm still expecting at least one SAR per box, but will we potentially get two per box or one SAR and a gold card? We shall see. The Ripped Chef, here we go, Referig, Mankey Reverse, Sprigatito Reverse, and a Wigglytuff Regular Hollow. On to the next pack here. Just kind of got to go through this as fast as possible. I know a lot of times people like to read some of the cards, but I know you guys don't really need to do that here. If you guys want to look over some of the cards and how they're going to be in the TCG, you guys can look that up on another video. I just want to get through this really to test the pull rates and see what we got here. We have a Glimmit and a Wu Chen EX. Uh, S-A-R. Wow, this one looks gorgeous. It's not one of the big money cards, I don't believe, from the set, but it is still absolutely beautiful. Let's take a look at that again. And this is our S-A-R for the set, or Special Illustration Rare. 
uh, that we got so far. So let's see what else we can get out of this box. Obviously, that is not the droid we were looking for, but it is absolutely beautiful. That card is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, definitely like that card in the video game. It is a strong, strong Pokemon in the video game itself, as well as Spidops Pyroar. We have a Raichu Reverse, Pinaka Reverse, and a Robska. So what do you guys like the most from this set in particular? What is your favorite Pokemon that is new to the Scarlet and Violet era? There are a lot of really random ones that I feel like Pokemon was just like, uh, let's just make something random up. Let's put it in a, a general, like <laughs> this for instance. Sudowoodo, Pelipper, Fletchender, Tropius Reverse, Practice Studio, and a Sableye. Hopefully we can pull another SAR out of this box. It'd be really nice if we could, or Special Illustration Rare. Really hunting that Iono, but we're hunting a couple other things. We want to see that Chen Pao uh, Special Illustration Rare, because that is going to be a deck that I am playing uh, in the TCG, most likely. We have a Mastiff, Frigibax, and a Noivern EX. Now, the EXs this time around look like they're foiled a little bit differently. It looked like they tried to change the way they're foiled. Still not amazing, but definitely better than the Scarlet and Violet first print run of EXs, I feel like. And also, we're looking for that AR um, Baxcalibur. It would be really cool to get the entire line of evolution for that in the storyline, because that's another one we're going to be playing in the Chen Pao deck. Oranguru, Electrode, Snova Reverse, Baxcalibur, speaking of Baxcalibur, now I will show you this ability. Super cold, as often as you like during your turn, you may attach a basic water energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon. Now, you are able to, with Chen Pao, to go get those from your deck and be able to put them into your hand. So the two work together in tandem and basically you just get Chen Pao to do one massive attack by discarding a bunch of water energy. So it is really, really sick. Gotharita, Sudowoodo Reverse, Palmy Reverse, and a Mimikyu. All right, so we are almost halfway through our first box here. And again, this set is absolutely amazing. The codes, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to use them or not, so I probably won't give you guys the codes uh, because they probably will not be able to be used just yet until release, which is June 9th. We have a Larvitar Reverse, Paldean Tauros, the water form, really, really cool. There is a fire form of that as well, and a Hariyama. So again, this is... I'm just su super excited that I'm able to open up a booster box right now. I'm going to be doing a ton of pre-releases over the weekend. It is going to be so much fun. But guys and girls, if you haven't already, make sure you join us on Tuesday nights for our live streams or the special one we're doing this Saturday. We're going to take a look at a build and battle case and see. Ooh, that Sarah Ledge looks really nice. And a Backscalibur! We pulled one of our chase cards, the Backscalibur Art Rare. Super excited to see this card. I absolutely love the artwork on it. I'm definitely going to be using this in our deck and a low kicks regular hollow. But take a look at this Baxcalibur again. Super cold with Buster Tail ability. It's going to be so awesome to play this card. I love it. So, so far, two of our art rares have been ones that we wanted to pull, which is pretty cool. I'm happy about that for sure. Now, if we can only find an Iona full art or special illustration rare, that'd be sick. Um, also looking for the water type gold energies because we're going to be using that in our deck to bling it out as well. Voltorb Reverse, Jigglypuff, and a Tyranitar. All right, so this is the last pack of the first half, and then we're going to get into that and see what we got. So far, we are at six hits, so we are on target for our 12-hit box. So let's see if we can continue to do that. Tink a Tink, Miss Megius. Ramblegast. We have Superior Energy Retrieval, really solid card. We have Azuelas, Corvusquire Reverse, and a Serilege Regular Hollow. All right, second half of the box here. Now, hopefully after today's video and then also between pre-releases and opening up that build and battle case on a Saturday's live stream, we'll have a rough idea to see what the pull rates are like in this set and, you know, if they're going to be very similar to Scarlet and Violet Base. Magikarp Reverse, I do believe the art rare of this is going to be super cool too. Pikachu and a Noivern EX. So we got the Noivern EX regular and now we got the Noivern EX full art. And that one looks really cool. Love the way the background is. And actually textured, um, you guys can't see it, but you actually almost feel the same texture as the way it looks on the card here. Very, very nice. All right, so let's continue here. And let's see if we can keep going. That is seven hits for us here, two of which are art rares. One is a special art rare. So really, most boxes that we saw in Scarlet and Violet 1, we really only had two to three art rares in the ones that we open here on the channel at least. Uh, and two SARs per box. Calamitous Snowy Mountain. I think I said that right. Giacomo and a Palmont Regular Hollow. So, you know, again, what do you guys think? I want to know what cards you guys are going to be playing more in the TCG. And then what cards are you mainly getting to collect? I know there are a lot of people that do both in this channel. 
So it's a good mix of everybody here that we got in the family. So it's good to see you guys in the live streams and in the chat all the time here. We have a Wingle. We have a Sneasel Reverse. What? What the? And an upside down Wu Chen. What does that mean? Uh, we got an upside down card. So we did get the regular EX Wu Chen to go with the special illustration rare. So really cool with that. All right. So coming down to the wire here. Well, now nah, we still got about a half a box left. So I'm a, bit, I'm a little nervous. Sorry if I, see, if I seem more tongue tied than normal. I'm just so excited about opening the set. And again, hopefully you guys get some good information from this. Toxicroak, Electrode, Choice Belt Reverse, Superior Energy Retrieval Reverse, and a Wiggly Tough. Now, we haven't seen a gold card yet, so I'm curious to see if the gold card textures in this are just as good as the last set, because I actually like the way the gold cards are textured now. Uh, they look very, very nice, especially the energies. Pupitar, Famigo, Luxray Reverse, Love Disc Reverse, and a Weavile Regular Hollow. All right, we got about 12, maybe 13 packs left, it looks like, in this box. Now, the other thing that I am curious about, we're gonna run these side by side, obviously. When we open up that Build and Battle case, I wonder if the pull rates for the Build and Battle boxes are similar to the booster boxes. Because last time, the pull rates were much lower in our Build and Battle box that we opened compared to our first booster box. We have a Great Ball Reverse Hollow, Luminous Energy Reverse Hollow. This is gonna be a card I believe a lot of people are gonna wanna snag, and a Spirit Tomb Regular Hollow. All right. Let's see what else we can snag here. And this this set's just really nice. And obviously, if you guys have been watching the channel, you saw that they dropped and officially announced Obsidian Flames. There's a lot of cool cards coming out in that set, especially the Tyranitar. The electric Terra type Tyranitar is going to be cool. Dendra, Pyro Reverse, Dino Reverse, and a Fortress EX. Now, I do believe there is a special, or not special illustration, but a full art version of this, very similar to that Gyarados and the Arcanine from the SV1 set that we opened up a couple months ago. All right, so we are up to a total of nine hits now. So nine hits total. There should hopefully be at least three more in here. It would be nice if there is. If not, and one of them is the Iona, then if we just get one more, that'd be fine too. So Titan, Faulkner, we have a Q-Font Reverse, Calamitous Wasteland Reverse, and a Gargnickle. I think that's how you say that card. I'm not too sure. It's a big Minecraft looking, rock salt looking dude. He's huge. He's tremendous. And he's got massively big shoulders. Sandagast, Tarantula, Murkrow, Polisand, Raichu, Gothiel. All right, am I going to say this right? Gothitelle? I don't know. Artisan Reverse, Gothita Reverse, and an Orthworm Regular Holographic. All right, we have nine packs to go here. Still chasing some gas. So far, this box, if you were looking from a value standpoint, I don't think that this box uh, would stand up uh, to some of the other ones, but we still have nine packs to open, like I said. So anything can happen here. Right, you. We have a Nactali Reverse, Slack Off Reverse, and a Bosses orders another card that was a personal chase card of mine i'm going to be switching out all of mine in the deck for this particular boss's orders we have the getsis boss's orders absolutely amazing card and this is my favorite version of this card to date for sure all right so now that we have pulled three full art cards i'm not too sure if our chances for another sar or a gold card are very good here so we are up to a total of 10 hits now Man, let's see if we can get anything in these last eight packs. Corvus Choir, Krogunk Reverse, Floragato Reverse, and a Hydragon Regular Hollow. But being able to open this up, I'm super excited again. Cannot wait to do some live streams once we get the rest of our product in on release week. It's going to be a blast. And I can't wait to see some of you out in person doing some pre-releases this weekend. We're going to be doing the midnight release at Wasteland Gaming in Duluth, for those of you that are familiar with that area. We have a Tarantula Reverse, a Miss Magus Reverse, and a Spirit Tomb. And then Saturday, we're going to be doing pre-releases at a Video Game Trader and Meeple Madness before we come back and do our live stream opening up that build and battle case. So it's going to be a lot of fun to do that as well. Hopefully, I'll see you all out in the wild. We have another Iono regular trainer. Relor, Mastiff Reverse, and a Mimikyu. Five packs to go here. Can we find anything else? We're still only at 10 hits. I feel like most of these boxes have had more than 10. So let's see what we can get. Now, obviously, most boxes, I'm talking about Scarlet and Violet 1, not uh, Paldea Evolved. So Pupitar, Puppetar, Flamigo, Passimian Reverse, Robska Reverse, and a Glimmora. I actually forgot about this card completely. A uh, very interesting card from the Scarlet and Violet block. I think the first time you see it is from El Presidente. 
uh, using it in your battles. Meryl, and then it's also in the crater as well. Heracross, Kilowattril, Azumarill. We have a Nimble Reverse, Tinkatink -tink Reverse, and a Luxray. All right, three packs to go here. Let's see if we can get anything else. I'm super excited though that we did get that back Scalibur and the boss's order. So we did get two of our chase cards just out of one box. So super excited about that as well. So Viper, Tauros, Luxio, we have a Reverse Veluza, followed by a Tinkatuff and a Squawkabill EX. So another regular EX. This is our fifth one, uh, if you include the Fortress EX. So still a decent hit, and I think this card's gonna see some play as well. What's also funny about that Squawkabilly is the font of the text. They had to put so much, like the font looks different because I feel like they needed to squeeze it in there to fit in the text box of the card. So that was very interesting too. We got two packs left. Can we get anything else here to go with a couple of the cards we got already? We are at 11 total hits. So can we get to 12 and can we get a monster to end this video? Corviknight, Dunsparce, and a gold superior energy retrieval. Not the best gold card, but still being able to get a gold card here in the close of this video. That is really, really cool, and a Tyranitar to go with it. But man, these gold cards with the new texturing look really good. I love the way these look. Not the best of the gold cards, but it is still a gold card pulled nonetheless. All right, we got one more pack. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us here and watching the video. If you guys haven't already, please make sure you smash that like button and be subscribed to the channel with your notifications turned on. That is how you get entered into the giveaways. And also make sure you leave a comment down below. We have a Gothita, a Mastiff, Arctabax, Giacomo, let me know down below what your favorite card of the set is. Also, please don't forget to let me know. Tandem Mouse Reverse and a Sprigatito Art Rare. So the box was not done yet and a Slack King Regular Hollow. So we were able to get two of the three of the line for Meowskarata. So super cool that we were able to get both of these. Now, if we had gotten the Meowskarata in this box instead of that gold energy, this box would have been absolutely insane. So thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate you all being here. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, let me know down below. If you guys have other content you want to see, let me know down below or click on one of these two videos and I'll see you next time.